Happy Saturday, everybody. Welcome to today's stream. Hope everybody's having a great day. We are here today. We're going to do a little short flight. Sorry, I have been completely busy for the past couple of days editing up videos and things like that. And I meant to get on earlier to do this stream, but as soon as I brought up Flight Simulator, it was saying that it had to do an update. And it took a little bit for it to do its update. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. Let's get the jetway connected up to the jet. <clears throat> and we are on the ground here in San Diego. So we're going to be taking the CRJ. Sav Streck, what's up, buddy? How you doing, my friend? How was your Saturday? So we're going to take the CRJ into um, San Francisco today. Just going to do a little short flight. Go ahead and turn on our seatbelt, no smoking sign. Start our AP fuel. How is work going for you today, my friend? Dang, it always takes forever for that just to pop up. Okay, let's get AP fuel. There we go. And let's power up the APU. Good, good. Getting stuff ready for my birthday tomorrow and getting stuff set up for my birthday stream tomorrow. Sweet. Happy early birthday. Am I the first one to say it? Please tell me I am. All right. So the APU is spooling up on the aircraft. And how young will you be, my friend? Thank you. Thank you. No, you're not. Dang it. I thought I was going to be the first one. <laughs> All right. So we're here in the jet. Let's get everything going. They're doing a boarding announcement right now. So let's let the aircraft know where it's at. So we're here at San Diego. And go over to the GPS. So I was going to fly the, um, the uh, A320 today. But I decided, you know what? And let's just go ahead and do the CRJ again. I'll be 30. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I, man, I wish I was 30 again. Uh, so we're departing from San Diego. And let's pop over here, turn on our EFB, and open up the doors. Because they will start boarding the passengers here. Let's go to aircraft, open up the doors. And let's go ahead and have them start boarding. All right. So we're going to San Francisco. We do not have ATC on today, unfortunately. Hopefully, um, whenever, hopefully, eventually, during the flight, somebody will pop on. So we're going to be departing via the Padres 2 departure with an IK transition, and we're going to be departing off the runway 27 based on the winds that we have here. And then our next fix after IK, we're going to be going direct to Risen. Appreciate that whole soundtrack as always. R I Z I N. And after Risen, we're going direct to Splint, S P L N T. After Splint, we have Stoked. Okay. And after Stoked, that's when we should be doing our arrival. So let's go ahead and program, throw that in here. Execute all that and let's go back over here to the arrival. We're going to be arriving via the Circle 4 arrival. And our ILS we're going to be shooting for is ILS 28 left. And we'll catch that Eddie. Execute that. Let's look at our flight plan make sure we don't have any flight discontinuities. Add one right there. Go ahead and fix that. And let's do our perf page. So our cruising altitude is going to be flight level 38,000 feet. Or flight level 380. And let's come over here to the EFB and do our performance. So our, our I will talk to an email last night. Apparently she has a surprise for me for my stream. I'll see. I'm going to have to check it out. 
Alright, so let's see, hour zero fuel weight today is going to be 54,088 pounds. 54,088 pounds. And then our fuel, enter that, come down here, do our fuel. The fuel that we're going to need for this short flight is 8,156 pounds, 8,156 pounds of fuel, enter that. Our CG is 5.9 on the trim wheels, so let's set that. 5.9 on the trim wheel, and our altimeter for today is going to be 2.9, what was it? 2980. So let's throw that in. Two nine eight zero for our altimeter. And let's set all of our V speeds. V speeds have been set. And let's send the information that we just did out to the FMS. Pop it down to the FMS. Everything's looking good there. So let's go to our VNAP setup. Transition 18,000 feet, level 380, and we are looking good in the hood. And I gotta make sure my suit is, is in order and I gotta repaint my nails and blah, blah, blah. Go live at seven. Okay, all right, you're going to live at seven tomorrow. All right, so I'm gonna have to check that out. Our cruising altitude, as I said, is gonna be 38,000 feet. So let's pop over here. And tune that in. So yeah, man, I haven't been doing much. Um, I've just been editing videos lately. A lot of people don't know, but I do a lot of exploration type videos. And I did one back in November or December. And I didn't have a chance to go in and um, edit it because I just got my computer, my previous computer was acting silly. And all right, so we are on AP power so I can remove the ground power. We can go ahead and close the doors and we do not need the wheel chalks anymore. No fuel steering is coming on at this time. Get off of that page because it likes to air out on us. This is for you, here you go. Staff's always dropping the uh, ISOs. All right, turn on our thrust reverser just in case we have to abort takeoff. Yaw dampers coming on. Stabilizer trim's coming on. Bot trim is coming on as well. Our um, transponder code today is going to be 3242. Okay. So I think everything is looking good for us. I just need to look at one last thing before we head out of here. And then we'll be on our way into San Francisco. So did you stream yesterday, Sam? All right, so we're looking good. Let's go ahead, turn on our hydraulics. We're coming on now. Uh, Pro heats are coming on. Windshield heats are coming on as well. Override, I'll hit that here in a second, and we'll turn on our beacon light because we're about to start up engines. Nav light's coming on, logo light's coming on, strobe light, I'll turn that on once we get, um, once we, uh, get to the runway. And let's call the tug to come and hook up to us. I was probably too drunk to stream, but I don't miss. Thing, you know. <laughs> oh, so you Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard flight 1021, which serves to San Francisco. You uh, uh, were drunk, but you streamed anyway? Hour and four <laughs> now that the cabin door is closed, please make sure that all devices are in airplane mode and your large devices are now shut down. All right, so let's just verify and make sure that we are off sure of the aircraft. We are off the aircraft page. I will put in a decision height once we get um, close to that. And our speed that we're going to have to go to is 250. All right, so let's go ahead and push back. 
Yeah, I didn't stream last week like I was uh, supposed to. Um, because as I was saying, I was um, go ahead and release parking brake and push back. I was um, editing up the videos and whatnot, so I didn't stream on Monday, on Sunday or Monday last week. And let's go ahead and get everything going. So we'll start uh, our left and right. To an important safety demonstration. Thank you for flying with us. Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard. Yeah, I I'll stream until, until like 2 a.m. or something, but we are back in the Stanley Cup finals again. Okay, so you're running um, uh, hockey again. In preparation for departure, be certain that your seat back is straight up and your tray table is stowed. Make sure that your carry-on items are placed completely under the seat in front of you. Right. Portable telephones are not approved for use in flight. However, you may use certain other electronic devices when advised by your crew. Please direct your attention AI vehicles, to the flight attendants in the cabin. For everyone's safety, regulations require your compliance with all the lighted signs, placards, and crew member instructions. Alright, let's go ahead and stop pushback here. Set our parking brakes. Go ahead and, and let the tug uh, so the disconnect from us. Yeah, music be Why is it pissing you off? In the seat pocket in front of you. It explains the safety features of this aircraft as well as the location and operation of the exit. New A has that should be coming out soon. The whole boost my motivation. Your okay, all right, all right, all right. But yeah, why is it pissing you off? The nearest feasible exit. After exiting the aircraft, place all right, your taxi lights are coming on. And then hug the cushion to your chest. If you use, I turn all off. Turn those off aircraft. here once we get closer. Daniel, traffic United 1021, taxiing the runway 27 via taxiway Bravo with information of November. San Diego traffic. All right, so let it, let's go ahead and rookie roll out of here. Sandy check, everything's looking good. That's good up top. Everything's good there. Let's go. To start the flow of oxygen, reach up and pull the mask towards you, fully extending the plastic tubing. Place the mask over your nose and mouth and slip the mask. And we're going to need flap seat to get out of here. Because I'm not good at it. Really? Sure to secure your own mask I thought I saw you like office. smacking home runs. A life vest is located under or between your seat. To wear it, tear open the plastic. Like the record is turn those on. And slip it over your head. Wrap the straps around your waist. Snap the two ends together and tighten. Inflate the vest by pulling down on the red tab. So I'm still trying to decide the where exactly we're going to. There's a southwest that just came in. Right over there. So I'm still trying to decide where I'm going to fly to tomorrow. I only hit two home runs. Really? I thought you were like slinging the home runs. Alright, while we're taxiing down, I'm just going to go ahead and throw in some information, though I don't have to worry about it once we're um, on the sense. Uh, let's see. So, let's see. Let's see. Two seven left. I guess one is, or two eight left. I just want to see what the landing elevation is. 13 feet. Let me go ahead and throw that in up here. All right, got that set. And we can go ahead and turn off our APUs. Our cross override, X-Flow override coming on now. And continue our taxi down to runway 27. Nah, I wish I'm Garbo. Really? Would you really say that you're garbage at it? So I have to tell you, Sav, I'm, I'm super in love with this aircraft, man. Like, I don't know. It's like when I fly this one, it feels like I have a whole lot more to do as opposed to the uh, A320. Like I flew the A320 earlier in the week. I didn't do a stream. I just took it up to fly it or what have you. And I was like, this feels like very basic compared to um, 
the CRJ, the modeling and whatnot, the systems and what have you. And I know um, the fly-by-wire team is doing all kinds of updates to the A320, and I really love what they're doing with it. One thing that I really wish, and I can't wait to the Asobo team or fly-by-wire team figure it out, is uh, is uh, VNAV. Oh, for sure. Easy is good. Well, yeah, sometimes. But sometimes I want something a little bit challenging as well. Not always easy. Not always easy. Hmm. So continuing our taxi down, everything is looking good so far. System wise, flaps are set. Go ahead and set our takeoff. Uh, so we'll have a nice takeoff out of here. Altimeter is set and everything is good. How's the audio sounding us out? And 38,000 feet tops Fourteen nautical mile, five by five. All right, cool. So, one hundred fourteen nautical miles is when we should begin our descent down. So that's going to be K S F O and one one four. So making sure that we have our top of the descent programmed in. And we're going to descend to 6,000. Once we get close, we have to cross 80 at 6,000 feet. I have to remember that because the last time I flew through San Francisco, I wasn't paying attention to one of my chart or paying attention to the chart as I should have been. And I know a fellow streamer of mine, um, good friend B-Dubs, his head will be like burning right now because he's air traffic control virtually on that sound for Oakland Center. And one of his pet peeves is read the charts. Well, I flew into San Francisco so much that I thought I knew what I was doing and didn't pay attention to the charts. And ATC actually got on me. They were like, hey, you're supposed to be at 6,000 feet when you cross Eddy. And I was like at 4,000 or something like that. So, got to make sure I read the charts. So, how's... uh? Um, D Street doing, Sam. Please note the cabin lights will be dim for departure and landing. If you require additional lighting, there's a reading light on the panel above you. She's busy with homework and school, but she's doing good. That's good. That's good. I can't wait till I get back into school uh, in um, September because I've been bored lately and my wife can see it san diego traffic 9 10 21 holding short runway 27. my wife can see it that i've been bored lately because i'll just like pace the house and she's like well why don't you go stream and i'm like well it's not my streaming day like everybody's expecting me to stream on um saturdays sundays and mondays so if it's not one of my streaming days, you know, it catches catch people off guard. All right. Landing lights are coming on now. Strobe lights are coming on. Hydraulics, sandy check. Hydraulics are good. Pro heats are good. All right. So we are looking good. Let's go ahead and get out here. And Donna be playing the uh, Daniel Traffic United 1021 lining up runway 27. Donna playing Tetris. Has, she hasn't beat that game yet. All right, is that a game that you can even beat? Because I've never like played Tetris to its completion. I would play a couple of rounds of it, mess up the blocks, get frustrated, and I'm like, okay, I'm done. Daniel Traffic. 9, 10, 21, rolling, runway 27.
Nah, but she got past that level. She was stuck on. That's good. Here's coming up. Traffic night 1021 700 on the Padres, too. All right, flaps are up. Go ahead and set it for climb. And engage nav, speed, and autopilot. And the aircraft is going to continue to climb up. Big Mike, how you doing, my friend? How's your day going? Beautiful graphics, brother. Do you mind me asking how much a gaming PC with this quality cost? So this PC right here ran me $2,700. Um, I got it from Digital Storm, and it took about a month for it to uh, finally come in. But once it came in, you know, I was the first thing that I decided to install on here was the simulator, and it just runs like amazingly on this thing. So we're gonna go ahead and tell it to go to 250 knots. Yeah, my previous PC that I had was 11 years old and it was time to upgrade it. It had a, uh, a i7 3770 processor in it. Um, I wanna say it had 24 uh, gigs of RAM, something like that, and uh, GTX 1060, and it was just starting to show his age. And being it was so old, um, I was like, man, I'm gonna have to upgrade my motherboard and everything like that in order to run, get it to run the way I want. So yeah, I just decided to go with a digital storm build. This particular build has a i9-10900K, I think, processor. Uh, RTX 3060 graphics card and 32 gigs of RAM. Music is a bit loud. Okay, all right. Thank you, Sam. I don't want it. All right, how's that? Is that better, Sam? Sam, Sam tricks always on my uh, sound checks for me. All right, so we're getting ready to pass 10,000 feet. So let's go ahead and turn off our landing lights. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now passed 10,000 feet. You may now turn on your large Hey, go ahead and bump it up to 290. If you wish to connect to the Wi-Fi, you'll be directed to a page to pay a small fee for internet access. We do offer complimentary in-flight Turn down a bit more. To the okay. How's that? Perfect. All right, cool. What messed me up with the audio, with the uh, music, I usually leave my music setting the way it is for Pretzel Rock. But for some reason, whenever I'm playing like another game with my brother, um, the music is seems quiet, so I end up cranking it up and never go and turn it back down for whenever I'm doing flight sim. We can hear it, we can hear it, but it was almost on the same level as you're talking. Okay, okay, got you, got you. So right now I'm talking louder than the music. Yeah, that's perfect. Sweet. All right. So I'm going to have to remember that setting. So our flight time in uh, San Francisco today is an hour and four minutes. Uh, that This will be the only flight that I will be able to do for today because I have a project that I'm working on, a video project that I'm working on that I have to get completed. So a lot of my time has been devoted to uh, finishing that up. Um, but I will be back tomorrow for another flight sim stream. 
Uh, we may take the, uh, I think we'll just take the A320 up to um, Seattle. And then I'm not sure where we'll go after that. So, for one of my buddies, he has lots of flowers, just to me. Her favorite color combination is red and black. So I'm going to wear red for tomorrow. Oh, that's 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 nice, man. Respect. Respect. And, you know, I love how the streaming community come together for like for other people. Like I saw. I saw a couple of weeks ago where a, a young man was requesting that any flight sim streamer would stream a specific route in a specific aircraft because his grandfather was an avid flight sim enthusiast. And um, I guess his grandfather only had like a couple of days left. Never met the guy, but I had been there in the last few years where I heard from this people. Oh man, I bet, I bet. But uh, the young man's grandfather, I guess he had only, only had like a couple of days or maybe like a week or so left to live or something like that. And he requested that any flight sim streamer would um, do a specific flight in a specific um, air, airline. So there was a bunch of people who obliged and his grandfather watched the streams and was much appreciated, appreciative of it. So I absolutely love how the flight sim community comes together and, um, and uh, helps people. There's your song, Sav. One, one, two, seven, two, eight, four. So let's go ahead and throw that in here. It's my jam. <laughs> it's my jam. At Big Mike, are you enjoying what you're seeing in the flight sim? But yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful day to fly. Is no turbulence throwing us around like we've had previously. I think when we flew over to. Um, uh, where were we going? We were flying into Portland. It was just like throwing us around and whatnot. The weather was like garbage. Yeah, you probably know. It's all good. I appreciate when people pop into my stream, even if, even if it's for a couple of seconds. So I wonder what Black Diamond's up to today. He was probably looking for me to stream earlier. Uh, I can't remember exactly where he is in the States, but I think he's more towards the Midwest or the East Coast. So it's probably late where he's at. And I'm here for you. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you missed a single one of my streams. I think the only streams that you missed of mine was when I would stream on like the off days. So like that one week where I just had like a wild hair and decided I'm gonna stream every day. I think you missed a couple of days uh, then. But uh, other than that, I think you've been in pretty much every single one of my streams. So, besides gearing up for your birthday and everything, how, how, 
What else have you done this week, Sam? Work, uh, more work, and uh, more work. <laughs> Did some streaming and then made new friends, and now just taking it easy. I feel you, I feel you. Yeah, my wife, she can absolutely see that I'm like starting to get bored now that I'm not working. So, as I mentioned earlier, I'll just sit there and pace around the house, like, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do with my hands. So did you play Ace Combat any, Seb? Cause I know you were talking about that before. That you were thinking about jumping back into Ace Combat. No? Ah, oh, okay. All right. Well, I just know that you were mentioning, mentioning it before that you were thinking about it. All right, we're a thousand feet from our cruising altitude of flight level 380. Do you think you could ever uh, could have ever been a pilot? Seb? If I had to pilot anything, I would pilot um, a C-17. Because I absolutely love that plane. I know your mom cannot stand that plane. <laughs> but I absolutely love it. And that thing handles like a, like a fighter a little bit. I mean, it can't go like inverted or anything like that. But the several times that I've ridden on a C-17... The way that thing yanks and banks, it just handles like a fighter, I feel. Uh, the used to say, to order additional menu items, you may hit the flight the call button Why did you say that? That plane is amazing. I remember the first time I took my wife on a ride on, or took my ride took my wife on that aircraft to go on a trip uh, we were sitting there in the seats and whatnot and then we reached cruising altitude and I got out of my seat and laid there on the floor and she was like what are you doing I was like I'm going to sleep she's like you could do that I was like yes <laughs> because he liked it and she didn't I got you got you my mom's a C5 guy yep yep I know Yeah, I know for a fact that your mom's a C5 person. Alright, so why is it that I can barely hear ATC? Oh, that's why. Alright. Yep, she's a C5 guy. Hey, at least she's not a fan of the four fan trash can. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I was gonna say it's easy. They're talking lower. The sound is low. Yeah, I think the sound was low. I just turned it up a little bit, so it should be good. That's the other thing that sucks about um, Hercules. Hercules. <laughs> That's the other thing that sucks is the fact that um, um, different controllers have their mics set at different levels. So you might reach one controller and his mic is just jamming and you have to like turn it down. And then you might reach another controller where his mic is dumb quiet. And you're like, oh my gosh, I can't hear what you're saying. So I think what I'll do on this flight or what I'll do once we get into San Francisco We'll switch over to the helicopter and I'll just do a, uh, a little flight around uh, San Francisco Bay, around uh, Alcatraz, Golden Gate Bridge, um, Pier 39, and then we'll head back into um, San Fran to finish up for today. So what class is your, uh, your mom taking again? I think if people do the ATC just to play the game, but I don't know too much about my volume the game and all that. You know, audio is the number one thing that will kill any video, any video. And that, I've learned that um, from uh, my many years of doing video editing and filming and things like that. It's like, you can't go out and just, film and use the audio that's with the film because you have very different variables that happen when other sounds that will be in there and it just messes it up so lately i've been like getting into practice of like trying to clean up my uh video productions that i do and stuff like that but streaming i always have an issue with the audio i can't think of a single stream that i've done where somebody didn't say hey you're your voice is too low, or the flight sounds too low, or it's too loud, or ATC is too low. I don't know about the class, but there's a bachelor and a cargo trans, and I'm just... Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. I you would think they would because their job is to communicate. Yeah, no. You would think that they would make sure that everything is perfect prior to uh, going to broadcasting. All right. So as mentioned, we will be descending down to 6,000 feet. So go ahead and throw that in. So whenever we begin our descents. We don't bust that restriction over any. There we go. Man, this song just makes you want to like sit back, sit back and on a beach somewhere and just chill. Just chill or take a nice drive on the coast. Speaking of driving on the coast, have you uh, driven 101 uh, south? Just taking the uh, coastal highway down to like San Luis Obispo or down to LA?
I have You should try it. It's a nice drive. Looking at the coast. For um, my wife and I's anniversary last year, we um, took the coastal highway and we drove down to uh, Big Sur. And just looking at the coast and everything, it was just a beautiful sight. Um, I would say the one thing that sucked was when it turned from like four lanes to down to two lanes and then you get into all the curvy roads so all that down there that you see all those curvy roads right there on the coast yeah it's crazy like my truck was like hey man you're gonna have to get some new brakes soon <laughs> So we should be in San Francisco in about 47 minutes or so. Once we get on the ground, we'll switch over to the uh, helicopter. And uh, I think it's a uh, uh, Airbus 153, I think it's what it's called. And, uh, and uh, where am I? okay, no worries, no worries. But we'll take the helicopter and we'll do a lot of, um, we'll do a flight around San Francisco Bay. Check out some of the sites, Alcatraz, Golden Gate Bridge, Pier 39, and then head back into um, into San Francisco International. So I miss a lot. Okay, all right. What was the last thing you heard me say? Oh yeah, so yeah, I was saying um, when I took my when my wife and I went for our anniversary last year, we um, took the coastal highway, that highway that's right there below us actually, and um, it's just a beautiful drive. But um, my truck is like my brakes, my rear brakes is like okay, yeah, you're gonna have to change the brakes soon. <laughs> Cause cutting through those corners and whatnot, up and down those hills. All right, so we have a little bit before we begin our descent down into San Francisco. Yeah, no good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, let me tell you, we went to um, Shaver, lake a couple of weeks ago and coming back through the coming back from the lake i was like man i smell clutch man what is that come to find out it was my brakes <laughs> i think what i think i need to change my brakes So where, where is Na, uh, Naima today? I haven't done it in my fair lady yet, but usually the first upgrade is carbon ceramic brakes. I need to, yeah, I need to do something with my brakes. Like I think my uh, rear left caliper is actually sticking on my brakes. So I need to get that checked. I'm actually looking at another car. Um, Cause once I start school in the fall, I don't want to have to drive my truck into the city every day. Carbon ceramic rotors and pads, it's the same compound you find in Lambos as far as. Oh, gotcha. So they're probably dumb expensive too. But yeah, I'm looking at 
getting another car. I just don't know what to get because I'm going to have to drive into the city um, for school and trying to find parking for my truck in the city. Safe parking for my truck in the city is a pain in the butt. Not really, actually, is technically. Everyone, okay. Get a Maxima? Nah, I don't want a Maxima. I kind of like the uh, Infinities. I kind of like the Infinities, but I don't want an automatic. I want a, a five speed or six speed. Nissan gang. <laughs> Yeah, I'm thinking about an infinity. If I could find a beautiful black one, ooh, ooh, ooh. either an infinity or a uh, Hyundai G crap. What is it? Uh, I can't remember what that thing is. It's a Hyundai something. It looks it looks almost like the infinity G35. Yeah, the Genesis. I wouldn't mind getting one of those. Five-speed Genesis. Because I saw a beautiful one one time. It was a black Genesis with uh, uh, copper rims. That thing was just sexy. I was like, woo! Like, I want it. If you got one, we got to run it. 3.8 versus 3.7. <laughs> I'll give you a head start. Man, I haven't raced in years. I haven't raced in years. Like, I used to, um, when I was a single airman, when I was in the military back in uh, New Jersey, I used to go to the track and run my Honda Accord. And it was fun. It was fun uh, running it, but as I got older, I kind of grew out of it. Three hundred thirty-five horsepower for me versus three hundred twenty-eight horsepower. Okay, all right, all right. Are they expensive, the Genesis? Excuse me. So we still don't have any ATC on, so it's going to be a fairly quiet flight all the way into San Francisco. New ones, yes. I would assume the older ones are because they don't have any food anymore. So they might be following guys you look okay. I didn't know that they stopped making the coupe Genesis. Damn it. Yeah. Only fourteen off the mark. Okay, so our decision height that we're going to need getting into uh, San Francisco is 213 uh, feet. Come on. Alright, why is that not? Alright, the decision height is 213 feet. There we go. Also, there's two models, 2.0 and 3.8 and 8. So it depends on what you're looking for. Both come with 6 feet though. Okay, alright. 
I don't really mind what model I get as long as it's the, uh, the Genesis. I just like how it looks. The older, older ones, though, the ones from like uh, um, early 2000s, I don't really like the uh, front end on that one. So because I care by one is probably a hundred thousand miles on the motor. Okay, and how the I wonder how long the motor is usually last. I want to find one that's like yeah phase. Yeah, it does. It does. And if I do find one, I want to find one that's like bone stock. Like a six speed bone stock hasn't, nothing's been done to it. That way I can tell that, I mean, I can somewhat guess that it hasn't been beat on. I know a guy <laughs> back in 2004 or 2005, I was looking at buying a, um, a Mitsubishi Eclipse. And I found one, it was a five speed turbo. It was a GX. GSX uh, T, I think, and um, I was gonna buy it, and in the ad it says never been raced or anything like that. So I go, I go check it out or what have you, and we're test driving it. The, the guy is riding with us, and he was like, "Oh yeah, just the other day I raced against a, uh, a Mustang and blah blah blah." I'm thinking to myself, but in the ad it says it's never been raced. So yeah, the GSX, yeah. And he was like, and in, in the ad, it was like, it, oh, it's never been raised. So I was like, okay, yeah, I don't want it. <laughs> don't want it. Have you ever been to a, a, an actual street race? So we are creeping up on the top of our descent. Let me get our descent down into San Francisco. Should be on the ground in about 35 minutes or so. As mentioned, once we get on the ground, we'll swap over to the helicopter and do a little sightseeing tour around San Francisco Bay. And then that'll be our last flight for today. Side of racing is insane. Oh, wow, wow. So, the last big street race I've ever been to was in Philly. And uh, people, everybody met up at like um, McDonald's. And then after everybody met up at the McDonald's, they all left to go and head to the actual racing spot. So it was my first time ever going there. It looked just like something from Fast and Furious. I mean, cars lined up down the road. There hadn't been at least two to 300 people out there. It was just nuts. And I went up to one guy and I was like, hey, how often do the cops come out here and mess with y'all? And he was like, well, they, and then his eyes got as big as silver dollars. And I look back and I see these the blue and reds coming. I hopped in my car. I took off. I headed back to uh, Delo back to Delaware. And then my buddies that went, they called me and they were like, "Hey, where you at?" 
I'm like, man, I'm back in Delaware. Where y'all at? They're like, oh, we're at the next race fight. I'm like, yeah, that, that's enough for me. I saw the blue, the red and blues. And I'm like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I am not, because over there in Philly, they'll give you spectator tickets. And people who are actually uh, racing, they'll impound their car. So I'm like, nah, I'm not trying to lose my car today. Not trying to lose my car today. All right. So here momentarily, we're gonna begin our descent down into San Francisco. In the CRJ 550 by Aerosol. Tomorrow, we will be back. We're gonna take the uh, A320 from San Francisco into Seattle. We had the Fairfield Police helicopter out and as soon as the race came, I hopped in my buddy's STI and we bottled as we bolted down with the lights off. It was by the by the dump. Okay. Oh back oh man. You know they put um speed bumps back there now to where people can be racing because I had a buddy who used to live not too far from the dump. And there was a couple of nights where we would just be outside chilling or whatever, and you could just hear people doing burnouts and donuts and everything by the dump. And then um, I want to say within the past couple of years, they put speed bumps out there. Yeah, it's because of us. You, you freaking whippersnappers, you. <laughs> you young whippersnappers ruining it for everybody. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and begin our descent down into San Francisco. And let me adjust our speed so that we can hit Eddie at the right point. It's the idiot that car means doing burnouts and shit. This is why we have, can't have, yeah. That's why you can't have nice things. You have those people out there who just want to be doing stupid stuff. So setting the speed so we can reach Eddie at 6,000. That's the one thing about this aircraft, it doesn't have the VNAV capability to where you can set the speed and it'll hold it. So you have to manage the speed and everything on your descent. Supras and only work on super. Oh wow, really? That was, you know, that's been my dream, and I'm pretty sure any kid who grew up with Fast and Furious, that was their dream to one day own a Supra. And when I was stationed out in Japan, I was like, I'm bringing a Supra back with me. But once I figured out how much it would cost to import it back to the states and all the changes I would have to do to get it street legal. I was like, nah, never mind. I 
And what also <laughs> what also makes me laugh are the people who uh, import uh, Japanese cars back over to the states. They don't take into account like drive-throughs because <laughs> the steering wheel is on the opposite side. So I'm like, okay, so how do you go through a drive-thru now? He had a uh, Imperial J. Uh, super green. And the white one. Wow. Yeah, I've seen a handful of Supras rolling around here um, in the past couple of years. I've seen like a white one. I've seen a red one. The red one looked pristine. Like it had the stock rims on it and everything. It didn't have like aftermarket wheels. So what's your dream car? What you're going to hear about today is nothing short of a miracle. I know, I think I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, this thing was stop, don't stop. A Super MK. Four. All right, all right. My dream car is a Lamborghini. A Lamborghini. Uh, I like the Diablos, but the newer ones are really growing on me. I would say a Gallardo, but I want the, you know, the Lamborghini doors. I don't want like the regular doors. So I think the Mercer Largo and then the um, the Mercer Largo and then the Diablo. I like. Take it down to 280 knots. Oh, yeah, that's my dream car, the uh, Lamborghini. And when I was younger, I mentioned to somebody at my church that um, I wanted a Lamborghini when I got older and he was like, I hope you got Lamborghini money. And at the time I didn't realize that they were so expensive. Fun fact, Lamborghini couldn't design a headlight because we got those little literally stole the headlights from the Nissan Galaxy. It take the headlight off and we all want to say Nissan. Really? Wow, I did not know that. I did not know that at all. That's it. That is an interesting fun fact. All right. So let's Just had to adjust our speed to make sure that we're going to reach 80 by uh, 6,000 feet. Yeah, it's because the shape of the Jordan Z and the Lamborghini put in design the back there. Form the shape of the vehicle. So they saw that. Wow. Okay. I mean, how hard would it have been to like 
uh, come up with a shape. Like, I don't think that should have been too hard to design it. But I don't make cars, so I don't know. I'm not sure it's shaped like a 45 degree angle, but they couldn't perfect it. Hmm. That's, that's weird. flights when it's like dusk and uh, dawn because just the reflection of the sun how it hits the airframes it just looks amazing each time It's like if you see your quarter pound is E as very specific shape. That's the shape they put like that on top. Okay, alright, alright, alright. So they couldn't um, mimic that specific shape. Alright, so we reached our transition altitude. So let's go ahead and change that in our altimeter. And to San Francisco is two nine or eight six. But I've been a SUV guy for a while, correct, for a car company that sells cars for like $200,000 and getting it together. <laughs> you sell $200,000 cars, you can't figure out this, this shape? I saw, speaking of cars, I saw a video on Facebook the other day where there's a company, I can't remember where it's at, they were like making, a, I guess it's a boat or a jet ski. But it's the shape of a car. So they had like a, Cam a Camaro boat out there. They had a uh, um, a Lamborghini boat out there. It was crazy. I remember going to work two years ago and someone had a white Lamborghini, a Vivido, a Z, that was pulled over. I bet it was. And I bet I know why it was pulled over. <laughs> He was sitting there trying to be fast and furious. And the cops were like, not today, Junior. San Francisco Traffic United Airlines 1021 descending via the surfer for arrival, expecting ILS 28 left. San Francisco traffic. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, he was sitting there going fast and furious and he's like, oh shoot, the cop. <laughs> I remember one time in Delaware, I got pulled over. I was driving my car around downtown and I guess I was going, I wasn't going that much faster than what the speed limit was. I think the speed limit in the area was, I want to say 25 or 35. And it had just changed to that. And I had my radar detector on in my car and all of a sudden it just started flashing laser, laser. I'm like, oh shoot. And I look up, like after I say, oh shoot, I looked up. And right in the middle of the street was a cop standing there with his hand out, like, pull over. I'm like, oh, God bless it. 
But it was awesome to see though. I mean, what's the point of having a sport car if you're not going to use it? I appreciate the sport car. We've done our final to San Francisco. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Alright, we need to get it to 240 knots. Please complete all Wi Fi related tasks and show any larger electronics. No way, no way, no way. I think we'll have to take it down to 3,000 for our approach into um, San Fran. So this is the part right here where I was talking about earlier where I did a no-no and I was below 6,000 feet um, whenever I had, um, whenever I was flying in San Francisco one time. And there's a reason why they went to 6,000 feet because you got these hills right here. All right, let me make sure we got the nav radio program in there right. 9.55 that's wrong okay let's come down here yeah 109.55 109.55 so that's good there. so it should actually be bringing up the localizer here momentarily i used to think people in sports cars were jerks until were jerks until i owned one look at a lot of people man it's on the 80x game for people of that steer and their kids love it, so I gotta put on, <laughs> you gotta put on a show. Alright, we just crossed any at 6,000 like we're supposed to. Let's go ahead and take it down to 3,000. Three thousand, and let's change the nav source. And two eight five is so the course that we're going to need is two eight five two eight four. I'll go ahead and arm. Ah, I'll go ahead and arm approach, and that way the aircraft will. Connect to the localizer. And they will set everything else up. Go ahead and get our speed down to 180 knots. Me and my mom went head up one G5. Per oh, really? You're, really? Donna, Donna was jamming on it like that? I couldn't even imagine. And let's go flaps 20. Donna thought she could take my 370 by the 370 saying nay nay. Nay nay! <laughs> Not today! Uh, not today, Donna. Alright, get our speed back up to 180 knots. 
and here momentarily the aircraft should capture the localizer and the glide slope. Yeah, me and her launch from a stop sign, see me hill. I hit 100. Oh, dang! 110? That's awesome. If, like, if I want to try to do something like that with my mom, my mom would have been like, slow down! You're speeding! All right, once we hit the localizer, I'll go ahead and drop the landing gear. You should have let her win. You should have been like, okay, mom, I'll let you win. Should have been a good little son and be like, okay, I'll let you land. Alright, so we got the localizer. Go ahead and bring out our landing gear. And we got the glide slope. And once we hit the bridge here, I'll call it 10 mile final. Change the format over here. But yeah, my mom does race every now and then. That's awesome. That's awesome. Like I said, my mom would not do anything like that. All right, we got full flaps in. San Francisco traffic United 1021 10 mile final runway 28 left to land San Francisco traffic I tried to get her to run her Lexus against me but she doesn't of course she don't want to that's a brand new car you crazy all right let's go ahead and set our V-Rev 227 knots That's a brand new car. Donna is not doing it. She is not having it. And we're looking good. We're still on the uh, V-Rev, the localizer, and the glide slope. So everything is looking Gucci for our approach into San Fran. As mentioned, once we go on the ground, we will park and then switch into the helicopter. Do a quick sightseeing tour around San Francisco Bay. And they will head back on in to uh, San Francisco. Once I get 500 feet off the ground, I'm going to disengage autopilot and I'll take you the rest of the way in. I remember seeing the 370 stands and there's no Z and it was on the phone and it started shooting flames and backfiring like it was World War II. Wow. I like when cars do that. 
when sports cars do that. If it's just a ratty, ratty, raggedy behind car that's backfiring and spouting and whatnot, I'm like, hey, get that car fixed. But if it's like a, a, a sports car, race car or something like that, and it's spouting flame and whatnot, I'm like, that's super sick. Alright, Autopilot's coming off at this time. Approach, and I got the aircraft. Four. Verified, thrusters versus our arm. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to San Francisco. We're going to exit the gate here. Or exit the gate. Exit the runway here to the left. And we'll head over to the gate. San Francisco traffic United 1021 has vacated runway 28 left. All right, go ahead and bring up our flaps. If this is your final destination, we thank you for flying with us. If you're making a connection, we encourage you to check your itinerary to ensure a smooth continuation of your journey. Flaps are coming up. Fire up our APU now. So we have that once we get to the gate. And we don't need our landing lights anymore. So I'll turn those off. Strobe lights can come off now. And taxi light, I'll leave that on for right now. And commence our taxi over to the gate. Granted, we were on 85 and he did. And it was. And it was so loud, I was losing hearing and couldn't feel it in my chest. Jesus Christ! It was that loud you could feel it in your chest? All right, so we're just gonna pull into the gate right here to the left, shut everything down, swap over to the helicopter real quick, do our quick little sightseeing tour of uh, San Francisco Bay, and then that'll be it for our stream for today. I can feel the heat from the flame, dang. We're at the gate. Taxi lights going off at this time. And we can go ahead and turn off the engine. Get our exit opened up. Chalks in place, power cart, and we do not need our beacon anymore. So that can turn off. And let's get the jetway connected. All right, so we made it safely to San Francisco. So give me a couple of seconds. We're going to swap over to the helicopter and then we'll be on our way into San Francisco Bay.
Hi there, everybody. So we're back here uh, in San Francisco. We're going to take the helicopter up and we're going to do a little quick sightseeing tour around uh, San Francisco Bay. We just flew from San Diego um, a couple of minutes ago and it was a good tour. So let's get everything going. Turn on the avionics, standby battery, and strobes, turn those on, landing lights, turn that on. Master battery switch coming on as well. Okay. And let's get the AP or get the aircraft, uh, hel aircraft, helicopter fired up. You still here with us, Sam? Of course. All right. Cool, cool. strobe light to have been on. There we go. I got a mod and another 10 after this. All right, cool, cool. Well, we'll do this fight real quick and get you off so you can go and do what you got to go do. Let's go ahead and lift off here. Now don't worry about me. All right, all right. Appreciate the bits there, Sal. All right, so let's go ahead and head over to San Francisco Bay. All right, while we're doing that, I got to figure out how to turn that radar off. Hopefully we'll be able to see the bay, how uh, foggy it is. All right, so let's make our way over here. Should see San Francisco uh, skyline here in Moon Bear Lake. I gotta turn that radio off though.
Yeah, that was gonna get annoying. Alright. I can't really see anything with this fall. Alright, let me try again, see if I can tune that radio. Keeps giving me Selena's airport information. Don't need it. So what's the uh, other individual going to be streaming, uh, Seth? It might take us a little bit to get over to San Francisco Bay. The streamer that you're going to be watching later, what's he going to be streaming? So we got, we got the, is this a Bay Bridge? I always can be confuse this bridge with the other one over there. All right, so right down here to our left, we got Embarcadero. Get a bit, a little bit lower. Yes, it's a new Bay Bridge. Okay, all right. Like the bridge that you cross, and then you have the uh, you go through the tunnel, then the other bridge. I'm not sure what that second bridge is called. All right, so yeah, this is Embarcadero right here. We're gonna go and head over towards Alcatraz.
And then right over there to your left, you have the one by Treasure Island. Yeah, the one by Treasure Island. Right over there to your left, you got Pier 39. And then right here, you got The Rock, Alcatraz. Yeah, I can't remember what that thing is called. So we're just going to pass by Alcatraz real quick. And then we're going to head over towards the Golden Gate Bridge. After we cross the bridge, we'll head back over towards San Francisco International. One of my favorite bands is named from someone killed in Africa. Really? Yep, John Dillinger, so their name is Dillinger Escape Plan. Ah, got it, got it. Alright, so we got the Golden Gate Bridge right here. And I apologize that I can't get the, uh, the radio to stop announcing. So we've got the Golden Gate Bridge right here. Let's go ahead and start heading back towards San Francisco International. Diamond, how you doing? Yeah, it's always cloudy on the bridge. How's your, how's your Saturday? So we're gonna have fun trying to figure out how to get back to San Francisco or San Francisco International because it's so cloudy I can't see anything. <laughs> What's bugging me right now is the fact that I can't get the radio to uh, change over. Exit celebrating 37 years with Miss Donna last night. Hey, congratulations on 37 years. Wish y'all many, many more. Did y'all do anything special? So once again, flying on your right, you got Pier 39. And in Bacadero on the left, you got Alcatraz. And we're going to go ahead and head back over to San Francisco International. Fam came over, bought a bunch of food. Oh, got you. That's always good. F food and family, man. Food and family is always good. So we just did a little short flight from San Diego into San Francisco. 
and they were just doing a little sightseeing tour around San Francisco. However, I didn't realize that it was going to be uh, this cloudy. Hey, appreciate the bits there. 15 bit, appreciate it, I said. Yeah, it still looks cool. Now the fun part is going to be figuring out how to get back over to the uh, to uh, San Francisco International. <laughs> I think I still won't remember how to get over there though. Alright, let me try one more time to turn this radio off. It's not getting rid of it. Sim running pretty smooth. Yeah, it is running pretty smooth. I don't know if these are whiskey clouds though. Because I think it's whiskey clouds that only give us that issue. High altitude whiskey clouds. All right, so I guess I finally got rid of the daggone um, Ada's information that we're playing. All right, let's see if I can get below these clouds and I'll be able to see the airport a little bit better. You doing any flying today, Black Diamond, or no? Just chilling out, hanging out? Chilling, Donna is chatty tonight. Okay, all right, all right. I probably should have stayed above those clouds because the clouds are kind of throwing us around a little bit. So yeah, I will be back tomorrow for another flight sim stream. Tomorrow we will be flying from San Francisco into Seattle Tacoma International. I believe that's the airfield that's right in front of us. And we'll be flying the uh, A320 tomorrow. I gotta learn how to fly helicopters this door to school. This thing, man, let me tell you. Like, I thought I could just hop in here and fly a helicopter just like a, a freaking uh, regular plane, but no. <laughs> like, I'm sitting here battling it the whole time. But at least we were able to find San Francisco in this, uh, San Francisco International in this fog.
Yeah, it is. I absolutely love what uh, the Assemble team and Microsoft has done with simulators. All right, let's get ready to put her on the ground. Hopefully I'll botch it up like I did last time we did our tour. Yeah, I got it from Flex MTF. All right, got us back on the ground. Nobody died. So I want to say thank you to everybody who popped into the stream. Dab Strike, Black Diamond. Got the doors open and everything. And let's go ahead and shut down the engines. All right, everybody. So yeah. That's going to do it for today's stream. Really appreciate y'all hanging out. Black Diamond and Sav Shrek, always a pleasure. And as I mentioned, tomorrow we will be back to do a flight sim stream flying from San Francisco into Seattle. So until next time, y'all have a good one. See ya.